This is the OBSBOT Talent. It's a tiny little streaming tablet that you can attach a bunch of cameras to to have the most over-the-top baller IRL streaming setups. You can take multiple fancy mirrorless cameras, a couple webcams, plug them all in at the same time, and then take it with you to like conventions or places that aren't your basement. But it's got a whole streaming suite built into it for switching scenes, adding browser sources for like your alerts or Twitch chat, changing to different camera angles, picture-in-picture -picture setups, you can adjust like your audio levels. If you were to think about what a mobile version of OBS would look like, this would be it. Now, Ozbot is sponsoring this video, so if you think I'm gonna be like super biased, go watch another video. There's like probably 10 other non-sponsored videos out there. I'll also be posting a separate video alongside this one that just showcases what the software does in depth because there's a lot to it and I can't fit it all into one video. For this video, let's just talk about what the OBSBOT talent is. So here's what it looks like. It's like a tiny little screen about the size of the phone, but it is fairly thick. You've got two HDMI inputs here so you can plug in your mirrorless cameras. There is a USB port that you can plug a webcam into and then another USB port there as well. You got a headphone jack for plugging in a microphone and headphones so you can monitor your audio. On the bottom, you have an SD card slot. It does have 64 gigabytes of internal storage so you can record into the internal storage if you want to and then also an ethernet port. The back of it looks kind of crazy. So there is like a fan and then it's got like these two little feet things, which this is where you would put the battery. Now it takes standard NPF. Fucking get out of here. Jesus. Oh my God, sorry. <laughs> you can put in standard NPF batteries. So I only have one here. Now the cool thing is you could put two on the back but it only requires one to run. So in theory, if you have like a million of these batteries, you can just keep swapping these out and you'll never have to worry about your battery dying. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't come with a battery, so you're gonna have to buy your own batteries, but this is like a $1,000 device and I feel like the people that are gonna be buying stuff like this probably already have a million of these batteries, but would be nice if they included a battery. Now, if you only uh, put one battery on, it doesn't like sit flat, right? So what you can use these for is, uh, you could just use it to stand up the device, but you could just shove one of these things into the battery slot and then I'm struggling. It ain't that hard, sorry. <laughs> it's not as hard as it looks, I promise, okay? <laughs> just slide that in there. And then these little kickstand things here allow it to sit flat on the table if you only put one battery in there. But I'm actually gonna remove the battery because I already have it plugged in to the AC outlet. Let's plug in a camera just so you can see what that looks like. So I got here a uh, mirrorless camera and I can literally just find the HDMI port, plug it in and then it just it just appears just just like that. You can plug in any UVC webcam as well. So over here, I've got an Elgato Facecam Pro. And if I just take a USB cable, you can see we can switch to that there. So there it is. And it, it, you can switch between those two cameras. Now I won't get into the software too much because like I said, I am uploading a full deep dive into the software separately at the same time as this video. So you can watch that video in the corner, but it is a full software suite. So think about the things that you would do in OBS. You can pretty much do all of it here. So this isn't just a camera switcher, but you can create full scenes. So I have a scene here that has my Elgato camera in the corner, picture in picture with like the mirrorless camera. And then I also have like my professional looking overlay here, which is just a PNG, which you, you can just load that up on the SD card. And all the things that you'd expect to do if there was like a mobile version of OBS, if that existed, you can pretty much do it here. So you can crop sources, you can rotate sources, you can, you can do layers. You can even add borders and rounded corners, which are things that you would normally have to like install plugins for OBS to do, and you can just do it here. Of course, you can also add image files, you can add text labels, and 
yes, you can add browser sources. So if you want to build up a stream elements overlay that has like your chat on this side with like your alerts, you can load that up here just fine. The one criticism I will say about the software is the software is really good, but I really wish that this had a web browser on it because if you want to add your stream elements overlay, you have to like manually type it in, which like takes forever. Your stream, you know, your stream elements overlay, you know that URL, you gotta like type all those letters and numbers. All, it takes like 10 minutes. So I really hope that Obsobot updates the software to add a browser so you can just log into your stream elements account open up your overlay, maybe update your overlay on the talent, and then just copy the URL and paste it rather than having to manually type it out. But other than that, the software is really awesome. This is exactly what I would want in like a mobile version of OBS. There's even a full audio mixer, so you can adjust the levels of each of your audio inputs individually or at like the program which is like the overall audio. You can do that right from within the software. And there's even like there's even like a whiteboard feature. So if you want to like draw on yourself, I, I guess you can do that too. I, I think that would be useful for like a sports broadcast. Of course, you can stream directly from the Obsbot talent as well. You can stream to YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and you can even do it at the same time. It does support multi-streaming right out of the box, but you can only do two platforms at once. It doesn't have enough power to do more than that. It does work well though. You could do two 1080p 60 streams simultaneously, even at different quality settings. And it does give you some basic control over your resolution, your frame rate, even your encoder settings. It supports H.265 as well. So if you're streaming to YouTube, which does support HEVC, you have that option there. But I don't think this works for Twitch because Twitch doesn't support that by default. And if you have access to a TikTok stream key or you want to stream to YouTube Shorts, you can change it to a portrait layout. You just go to show list, change it there, and then and then you have like an entirely separate canvas here just for vertical layouts. So you can add your camera there. Now it is horizontal, so like you'd have to go into the software, edit the layout and then stretch out your camera. But it does support portrait orientation if you do want to do like a super high quality TikTok stream. It even supports SRT. SRT, if you don't know, is a newer protocol for streaming that supports higher quality encoders like AV1. Now this doesn't have AV1 encoding obviously, but with SRT, I was able to pipe the video from the talent over to my streaming PC wirelessly. So in the middle of my streams, if I want to take my viewers on a tour of my studio, I could switch to my mirrorless camera and just walk around. And as long as I'm within Wi-Fi range, my viewers are going to be able to see and hear everything coming from my camera. I also mentioned that you can plug in any USB webcam as long as it's UVC. Like I showed you before, we have the Elgato Facecam Pro and it just, it just plugs in. You don't have to like power it or anything, you just plug it in. But it does work best with Obsbot's line of PTZ cameras. So they have the Obsbot Tiny 2 or the cheaper Tiny 2 Lite, which I reviewed like a month ago. And because Obsbot makes both the webcam and the tablet, they integrate with each other perfectly. You can control the gimbals of the camera, turn on and off the face tracking. I also have the Obsbot Tail Air, which is their $500 PTZ camera. And that camera has NDI. So not only can you connect to that camera wirelessly, but you could also control it wirelessly, which is awesome. Harris uploaded a video where he has a PTZ camera mounted to his shoulder and then another camera pointing at his face. And then he uses the software to set up a scene to show both cameras at the same same time. So when he's like walking around at conventions, you can see like both views. The kinds of setups you can make with the Obsbot talent are kind of busted. You could mount it to your belt or you could literally just fit it in your pocket. Or what I like to do is the bottom, there is a quarter inch thread. Let me just show you. I have a hot shoe adapter that I can just screw on to the bottom. I can just mount it to the top of my camera and then get a short HDMI cable. And that's the entire setup, just that. This is the entire streaming setup. I could go outside, I could get like cellular data. Maybe I can like go to TwitchCon and I can walk around and stream using my mirrorless camera. I'm gonna be at TwitchCon next month, by the way. So make sure to come say hello to me. I might be walking around with this, might not, depends. I don't know if I wanna stream at TwitchCon if I'm being honest with you. At the end of the day, is the Obsbot talent worth it? I can't really answer that question because one, this is a sponsored video. So if I said yes, you wouldn't believe me anyway. 
And two, it really comes down to what your needs are. If you just want a basic stream, there's like a million apps on the app store, okay? You can just do that right from your phone. But for the person that wants to have a super high production value IRL stream, and IRL streaming is like the main thing that you do, I can't exactly say that this is a bad option. I think for the right person, this could be a very compelling product considering how slick the software is. I really love how the software works in this. But anyway, links down below if you guys are looking to buy an OBSBOT talent. And if you want a deeper look in how the software works, I'll leave a link to the video somewhere, whichever direction YouTube is putting it nowadays.